What up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Couch Talk. This is where I just give my unfiltered thoughts, nothing structured. So I saw a recent thing in the news. Uh, actor Matthew Lawrence is currently dating uh, Chili from TLC. Now, he is, I believe, 41, oh, 43, and she is 52, right? So they're dating, and that's all fine and good. But recently, there was an interview where he expressed that now that they're, they started dating, they're already talking about trying to have kids. Obviously, because she's 52, it's going to be a, a harder possibility. So I guess the thought is the sooner we try to figure out how that's going to happen, the better. But just it's interesting that these days it seems more and more like the thought in dating is first comes love, then comes baby. Then we get married, and eh, maybe, and it just seems very backwards to me. Maybe it's because of how I grew up. Like I grew up in Virginia. My mom and my dad were both married for at least two or three years before they had me. And most of the people in my family have gotten married first before having kids. Have there been outliers? Absolutely. And when there have been outliers, I have seen the consequences of people that haphazardly had kids first and then got married. Sometimes they ended up marrying somebody that they didn't actually really want to be with long term, but they got married because it seemed like the right thing to do for the kids. Other times, it just seems like, I don't know, it just seems weird that somebody would want to plan to have kids with somebody, which is already a major life step and forego the marriage part. Like of the two of those things, it seems like planning out to be married first would be a lot easier than trying to have kids first. Because once you have kids, that's it. There's a lot of other situations that come into people having kids, having to rear them, take care of them, all the stresses that they bring. And to haphazardly be dating somebody and just be like, hey, we've been dating for like a couple of months, but we should totally have kids together. I've already decided because this is on the guy, right? Because the guy's like, you know, we are, I've already know that I like her. I could be with her. So yeah, let's, let's have some kids. Why not? And this is why I tell you guys, usually it takes women two to three months to solidify their feelings, but that also is your time to be doing your due diligence because how you feel about this person in month one and how great they're going to be and the potential they have to possibly be a good long-term partner and possibly be a good parent could be thwarted by month three or four if you wait around long enough. And so, any, or you could be proven completely right. But either way, you should be taking more than a couple of months of dating before you start deciding, oh my God, I want to have kids with this person because it just seems really backwards. Like, why would you not, you're, you're basically saying, I don't want to fully commit to you, but kids is fine. But kids is a commitment. Like you having kids with any person, you are now on some level committed to that person for however long the kids are here in, in life, you know, it will say a minimum 18 years. So that means even if you guys stop dating, you still got to on some level deal with that other person for the next 18 to 20 years of child raising. You might as well be married, you know, and a lot of celebrities do this where it's like they date and it's like, oh, we're having such a good dating time. Now we're going to, you know, have kids together and then we'll live together. And then maybe like eight or nine years from now, we'll decide to get married. And it just seems backwards to me. But maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm an old fogey who just has all this stuff completely out of whack. Maybe it is better to have kids before you get married. You let me know in the thoughts what you feel. I feel like kids are such a big responsibility. And for as a guy, deciding who you're going to pass your genetics off to is such a big decision to be wasting on somebody that you're just dating. But let me know your thoughts because, again, I could be tripping. Anyway, that's all for this short little rant. I am Harry Wilmington. Thank you guys for watching. Hope, let me know if you guys like this format. And if you have other things you want me to talk about uh, on this particular version of the show, this is a uh, couch chat. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.